Hey, it's Will. I'm an illustrator and a character designer and today it's the first video of 2024. So I'm really excited about it because it's a sketchbook tour. So as you know, as an artist, you can have a sketchbook where you draw kind of every day. And this, this is what I, I did last year because it was kind of a year resolution as, a, as an artist. So I want to show you all the pages and have some comments about my process and thoughts about it. So I hope you will enjoy the video and see you at the end. It's time to start the sketchbook tour. So as you can have see, this is my survival kit uh, material. Nothing to too extraordinary, just some pencil and pens uh, with different colors and type of uh, tips and some markers uh, to add, uh, add colors and watercolor palette. So before I jump into the pages I wanted to explain you my process because I really wanted to use the sketchbook to create uh, an habit and draw every day. But when I started in January, I didn't know how to start. So I asked myself the, the question to help me to define my goals for the sketchbook and see where I wanted to, to go. So the first part uh, was to fill the pages, uh, but I had some rules. For example, uh, I needed to experiment, uh, draw random sketches, work on concepts, but I don't use uh, eraser too much or not at all. I don't want to hide bad drawings because they are existing and I don't want to put pressure on myself to finish a, a doodle or anything. Just free creativity. But the second goal for me was to create the habit of drawing every day. So to create a routine the idea is to not skip it twice. So I print some cycles to represent all the day of the year. So let's go! The idea is to just uh, show you what could be a sketchbook without being pretty. Because my, my goal here wasn't uh, to have a um, pretty sketchbook to, look, to, to show you. I don't want to show you something good, you have to do this, I just want you to show you that as an artist you can um, use a sketchbook as you want and for other people who like uh, drawing um, this is the, a way to show you the kind of backstage uh, of a good illustration. Sometimes uh, good concepts just happen because bad drawing and try. So uh, this is the kind of the ID and the resume uh, of my sketchbook. So I will dive more into it when I like the pages or think it's necessary. Enjoy the flip through. I like to have some journaling uh, uh, in the sketchbook too. With uh, this, for example, is a weekend with my best friend and my boyfriend with uh, random things we did through the weekend so it was really fun. I don't have this quite a lot but I need to do this more.
for example, uh, as a character design exercise, I really like to just randomly draw a shape and then refine the, the drawing and create a character with this random shape. For example, this head here was pretty interesting for me. So I created uh, later a design about a genie uh, based on this doodle. And the final illustration didn't end up being like this, but it was just a start. As you can see, this is the, the final genie illustration. As an artist, it's really important to have studies for hands, facial features, portraits, bodies, uh, and everything you want to draw. It's important to learn how to draw them and how they look. In this page, uh, I wanted to try another way to add a volume to my sketchy portrait and it was pretty pretty good with some hatching and uh, coloring with pencil uh, in different uh, kind of opacity. As a children's book illustrator, I really like to have some uh, kind of, uh, I call them kid pages. Um, it's just some random doodles uh, that goes through my mind that I want to illustrate it, but with a um, friendly children's look. It's pretty funny and can bring a good concept um, for a kid's book or just an illustration. For example, I finished this one, you can see here, and it's really good to explore them in the sketchbook first. I really like um, this page about animals live drawing. Uh, the concept is having um, pictures on my computer and trying to draw them in a few seconds or minutes. So the essential part is to focus about movement and shape. So I, I really like the end result. For example, in the sketchbook, I really like to explore concepts and have a few writing moments. For example, for Mermaid Challenge, uh, I wanted to uh, write my goals and select the, the prompt that I wanted to illustrate or try to illustrate. And first, for each concept, I try to work on the sketchbook for the Star Wars, my self-portrait, so me as a mailman, um, I have more pauses, and this one just here ended up being the final one, just this little doodle, and this is exactly what I really like to have a sketchbook, because just something so little could be a fun outing, for example, you can see here. I like to have some studies, so sometimes in the morning I love to read a hard book. So in this morning I, I read the, the Bad Guys movie hard book and I really love the illustration and the sketchiness of the drawing in it, so I try to reproduce it 
to understand how to achieve this kind of result uh, that communicates a lot of story in each illustration. And then another artist studies with Carlos Luzi and his amazing character design. Again, I try to understand with some notes how it works and try to reproduce it to have a memory muscle because it's not just about uh, thinking of something or thinking about a line it's uh, the gesture of it it's really important to train yourself well something important uh, for an artist and especially a character design is a study of characters because you can uh, imagine new characters with different proportions if you don't know how to draw a real human so i really like to do gesture drawing sometimes and i always need to challenge myself to be honest and try new things because uh, even though I'm quickly bored uh, about what I'm doing so for this gesture drawing um, I accept the challenge to draw only with straight lines and the concept was to draw gesture drawing with uh, the movement we need in gesture drawing but only with straight lines so in this exercise you have to really decide what you want to apply uh, and what are the the shape of the body and i really like this one i will repeat it through the pages Another fun thing I like to do is to use some prompt generator and uh, do a character. For example, uh, here it's three words to create a character. And uh, the first one was alligator sun hat thinking. And I really like the, the result. Hamster, grapes, playing that's fun seal pickles stealing orangutan matches sleeping <laughs> i really like to mix the techniques for example here i use this blue pen and then i added uh, some watercolors just for a few details on these pages uh, I worked on the concept of the book cover a fake one uh, it was the story uh, about a dog that was abandoned in the forest he thinks is just lost but unfortunately is not it's a sad story i really like um in the sketchbook because usually i'm drawing only for 30 minutes so if I don't have uh, any ideas, I'm going on Pinterest and I'm just drawing whatever my eyes like in the moment, having such a crazy mess uh, on, the, on the pages. And I really like to just have some randomly scribble and then create a full character. Uh, this one is a good page because I use the same techniques 
I explained earlier. And uh, the goal was to illustrate animals into characters. And uh, Slot's one was super cute as the alpaca. Oh, I, I really like them. This pages are crazy but pretty good because I imagine um, South Asian Rapunzel exploration because we heard a lot of things on internet and I saw a lot of artists uh, doing it so I wanted to add it my own twist so I did some research about South Asian culture and how girls look and I created my Rapunzel but um, finally I didn't do a final illustration even if I work on some Rapunzel screen cap This is another session of drawing naked people <laughs> for practice. <laughs> it can be pretty awkward sometimes or weird to draw naked people. Uh, not of them are naked, some of them are clothes. Um, but it's really important to know how to draw people without clothes to understand bodies. What a good one but hard one because it was expression studies so it's really it's really not easy to convey emotion with uh, an illustration what I need to exaggerate. I really like this double page about drawing people and try to exaggerate their features to still be recognizable. Uh, you don't have the references, but uh, it was pretty close. Some are good, some are not, but that's exactly what I'm looking for. Just exploration, tries and uh, having, having fun. This is for the spooky season. Uh, I created some uh, portraits with a random scribble and I had some markers rendering to, to test. And then I did the gesture drawing, but each time I had um, uh, a spooky twist. It's almost the end of the sketchbook tour. As you can see, some of the drawings are pretty nice, some are not, but overall the exploration is just uh, amazing and pretty pretty fun to to do so it's really important to have it now for me and i really like to do this each morning and it really helps me to, to draw uh, for most important project i am closing the sketchbook with some gesture drawing with only straight lines as you know I really like this exercise and then the caricature resolution challenge with the Elvis Presley prompt the Rosario Dawson and the Nicki Minaj one I write the year of the sketchbook 
and my name on it. So this is just a bible of memory of good and nice creativity moment. I started a new sketchbook but you have to wait until almost next year to see the drawing in it. So now it's time to close this sketchbook for good and have fun with the, with the new one. I hope all of the doodles and exercise and just random things gives you the desire to have your own sketchbook or just to watch my video over and over to just check um, the drawing you really like. Uh, feel free if you really spot uh, a good illustration sketches uh, in the in the sketchbook. Tell me in the in the comments and may I will choose few of them to be a final illustration. Let's go. This is the end of the sketchbook tour. I hope you really enjoy seeing all the bad drawings and the good ones through the pages. Um, if I can resume four advices for you. The first one should be if you want to have a sketchbook, do not think too much how it could look. You should just do it. Um, the second one could be no pressure. A sketchbook is only for you. So just do what you want. You don't have to show everything you draw. You can keep it just for yourself. And the most important one is angling fun because this is what a sketchbook is, is made for. Well, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Maybe it helps you to start a new one and feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. That's a like. And if you want to see more video of me, feel free to follow me. If you didn't watch the two previous video I recorded last year, maybe you should take a look. And see you in the next video. Bye!